Welcome, class, to a workshop on Coach Joe Rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe Rule number 37, which states, Avoid passing Boolean arguments. Not the keyword true or false, not a variable with a Boolean data type. When you see a Boolean value being passed to a method, a warning should go off. Is this being used properly? There are a few situations where it is acceptable and several that are questionable. Here are some acceptable examples. A method that performs an assignment action, like a property setter, a Boolean value can be passed. Be sure to consider a well-named method with no parameter as a better option. It is common for a constructor to also allow Boolean parameters. There are default value and no parameter options as well. Third-party code can allow Boolean parameters like with consult logging and assert statements. Other methods may be questionable, but you will need to honor their method signature. Normally, passing a Boolean value is bad practice. All rules are meant to be a reminder, suggestion, or guideline. If you know the risk it presents, you will know when it should be followed and when it can be ignored. The risk of passing a Boolean comes in the form of friction. Friction is the time spent to understand the code or process. Some authors don't realize their code creates friction for others. Let me illustrate. With the exception of an assignment action, passing a Boolean indicates two things will happen. This is friction. What is the purpose of the Boolean argument? Unless you are familiar with this process, you will be forced to inspect the contents of this method. Drilling into the method only takes a short amount of time, but it adds friction. A bad method name restricts readability and adds friction. Passing the keyword true or false will add friction. Passing a name variable or an enum helps to reduce the friction a little. Having a well-named method and parameter also helps, but does not completely eliminate the friction. Passing a Boolean typically means a conditional is being used. Maybe the method performs an action and conditionally performs another action. This can add a little friction. Maybe a conditional is used to perform two different actions. Having a true block and a false block is two things. This adds friction. What if a third option is needed? Should another Boolean parameter be added? Will this generate too many lines of code for a single method? If so, these add more friction. Booleans make the code a little harder to read and change. You will notice spending more focused time with them, true and false are easy to mix up. All of this friction adds up and begins to slow down development. When you notice the amount of friction has increased because coding rules are being ignored, refactoring the code for better readability should be considered. Other times, having a small amount of friction might be easier than a more time-consuming solution. In the end, the goal is to have a working piece of code with as little friction as possible for you and other developers. Although Boolean parameters are allowed, I challenge you to avoid their use with a better design solution. Leave a comment down below when you think Boolean parameters are acceptable and when they're not. Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break!